All right, we're gonna have a pretty short Zoom today just to let you guys know. Um, just like a page and a half, like this page and a little bit more. All right, so experience and what can go wrong. Good experience require, care, it's coming on, I promise. Careful attention to detail to ensure that all subjects really are treated identically. What if a placebo treatment works? Many patients respond favorably to any treatment. Even a placebo. Perhaps because they trust the doctor, their response. to a dummy treatment is called, and this should say D. Placebo effect. Curing baldness and soothing pain. Do placebos work? The strength of placebo effect is a strong argument for randomized comparative experiments. Okay, so the placebo effect means that they didn't get medication, but somehow they got better, or they took a treatment and somehow it came out to be a favorable outcome. Um, and there are a lot of reasons that that could happen. And a lot of times it's kind of like if people think that they're taking medicine, they mentally like prepare themselves to get better and they try a little bit harder. So uh, you can think about it that way. So if the placebo effect is working, you wouldn't want to tell the subject that they are taking the placebo. Also, the doctor giving the treatment should not know who gets the placebo and who does not. This could cause a change in the interaction of the doctor and patient. Whenever possible, experiments with human subjects should be double blind. In a double blind experiment, neither the subject nor those who interact with them and to measure the response variable. Know which treatment a subject receives. Some treatments cannot be carried out this way. So there are treatments that are single blind. And we're gonna talk about one in a minute. The people carrying out the treatment and the measuring will know. Okay, so in this check your understanding, we'll talk about those. You ready, good? All right. In an interesting experiment, researchers examined the effect of ultrasound on birth weight. Pregnant women participating in the study were randomly assigned to one of two groups. The first group of women received an ultrasound, the second group did not. When the subject's babies were born, the birth weights were recorded. The women who received the ultrasounds had heavier babies. So did the experiment design take the placebo effect into account and why is this important? What would have been the placebo effect? They didn't actually need to give ultrasound, they just said they did. Uh, but what's the effect? Maybe they'll like just eat more or eat less, something like that. No, what is the outcome that we're looking for? Heavier babies. What treatment did they give half of them? An ultrasound. So what would be the placebo effect? Nope. What is a placebo? Would giving them like a fake ultrasound be placebo? But what happened? What is the actual effect? Of your birth weights? Yes, regardless of whether they had the ultrasound or not. So the placebo effect would be no ultrasound, but heavier birth weights. So the outcome, the favorable outcome happened even though they didn't have the treatment. Does that make sense? 
So think about somebody receiving um, like a, a drug trial, but they're actually in the placebo group, but somehow they keep getting better or like their cancer patients and they receive the, the placebo, but their cancer react goes, you know, it starts going away or whatever, or it reacts differently or slows down. Those are placebo effects. There's absolutely nothing that, that says why the babies got heavier, but it was obviously not because of the treatment. Does that make sense? So it had to be something else. But again, they didn't receive the treatment that had that favorable outcome. So did the experiment design take the placebo effect into account? Yes or no? Did the actual experimental design take the placebo effect into account? Yes or no? No. Yes. Okay. If you're saying yes. Yeah. Because it had heavier babies, right? What? Because it had heavier babies. That was the outcome. Okay, but did the experimental design, not was there a placebo effect, did the experimental design take the placebo effect into account? Why? Why? I hear no's, but you have to be able to explain yourself. Why? What did it just say about experiments? What did it just say? What did we just talk about? Experiments should always be what? Double blind. Double blind. What's that mean? Nobody knows which treatment they got. Correct. Nobody knows which treatment they got. Does everybody understand that? The people receiving, the people measuring, any of those. They should not know. So let's think about, and I'm, I know you're young, thank God you don't really know a lot about it, but think about an ultrasound. You've seen them in movies. It's not, it's, you know, it's not a secret. Does the woman know? Yeah. 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 How does she know? This is not a hard question. How, do, how does she know she's getting an ultrasound? They put the thing on. <laughs> right. They actually have it in there and they're doing the ultrasound. She can see the screen, right? Is everybody good with that? So if they're not receiving an ultrasound, the machine's not in there, they're not seeing it. So this did not take it into effect because it didn't cause that, that double blind situation, okay? So it, the, the person laying there doing the, having the ultrasound done, the woman knew whether she was having it or not is basically what this is saying. So if the placebo effect came into account, she would not know whether she got the treatment or not but all of these subjects knew whether they were or not. So, so it's she, only no, because she knew that it was happening. Yes. Or okay. did not know that it was, you know what I'm saying? Like you, yeah. you knew whether it was or wasn't happening. Okay, yeah, so, that makes sense. Yeah, seeing the baby. Would encourage better eating habits. resulting in healthier babies. Okay, that's just one thing. There could be multiple reasons. So one day when you get really, really old, please, one day when you get really, really old uh, and you decide to have babies, it is a lot different to know, like to take the test, whatever, and then to actually see it, okay? Especially for the daddies, okay? So once you see that baby and it's for real, like you know that it's in there, it becomes a whole different ballgame. Does that make sense? There's a lot of women that don't because they feel like it'll mess the baby up. It's scientific. I mean, that, it's a lot. That's like uh, booster shot, anything like that. People, people freak out about stuff like that. Yeah, people are like that. People are like that. Does it actually come from the dirty fruit that it actually does it? No. No. All right. Number two. Was the experiment double blind? No. No. Why? Right. So why is this important? Okay. Well, 
just like we said in the last one, if they knew they were getting an ultrasound, what would happen? Yeah, so if they receive it, they knew that they had the ultrasound, they could see that baby, they would know that they wanted to treat it a little bit more. If you don't know about it, you don't. I mean, it's just different. That's just one reason. If you see a healthy baby in there, you want to keep it healthy, okay? All right, and these are just kind of discussion questions more than anything. Based on your answers to question one and two, describe an improved design for this experiment. So how could we make this experiment take into effect or take into account the placebo effect, but also make it double blind? Use like already recorded ultrasounds and then just like put them on the screen. Absolutely, or something even simpler. Treat everybody like they're getting an ultrasound, but turn the screen away from the mom. So you do all the motions, but we don't know if what's happening on the screen. Does that make kind of weird though? You're not allowed to see. That's how you make it double blind. Sounds like you. Why? Like if you're having a baby and you're getting an ultrasound, you don't need to see it. If you signed up for that. But I just don't understand what somebody would sign up. <laughs> just second. It just asked how you could do it. It didn't say everybody was going to do it. <laughs> wouldn't the ultrasound tech know if they were doing it or not? So wouldn't it just be single blind? Uh, hold on. No. Okay. So yes and no. It may be okay. So for this, the ultrasound tech does not. Like that, they're not the know all end all. It goes back to the doctor. So the doctor would not know. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. So the doctor who's doing all the, the work would not know whether they had an ultrasound or not. They're just measuring the babies when they're born. Does that make sense? Rachel? Yeah. Okay. So the ultrasound tech would not, yes, they would know. But we're talking about who's running the experiment. If the doctor is running the experiment, the doctor would never know which babies had ultrasounds or not. Does that make sense? Okay. Somebody has to be able to know in the experiment, but they have to be completely oblivious to it. Does that make sense? So people distributing the medicine have to know which medicine the pouch goes into. You know what I'm saying? Do you get this person gets the placebo? Pouch one gets placebo, two gets the actual treatment, three gets placebo. But that doesn't mean they know who that person is. Does that make sense? But the doctor wouldn't know anything. They just know that they took something. That's it. Don't know if it's placebo or whatever. So treat as if they had the ultrasound. But turn the screen. And that way the moms would never know if they had like the for real one or not. You could also do, like you said, do a pre-recorded one or whatever. It's all the same. All right, literally like one more paragraph. All right, inference for experiments. In an experiment, Researchers usually hope to see a difference in the responses. So large that it's unlikely to happen just because of chance variation. We can use the laws of probability. which describe chance behavior to learn whether the treatment affects. How about I learn how to spell? Are larger than we would expect to see if only chance were operating. If they are, we call them statistically significant. I know that definition. 
So the treatment effects are larger than we would expect to see if only chance were operating. Same definition again, observed effects so large that it would rarely occur by chance. It's called statistically significant. If we observe statistically significant differences among the groups in a randomized comparative experiment, we have good evidence that the treatments cause these differences. We know that in general, a strong association does not imply causation. A statistically significant association in data from a well-designed experiment does imply causation. And that's it. That's all we're doing today. All right, I'm going to stop my share.